Let's talk about multisets. There is a connection between sets and lists that we've talked about before. A set can be thought of as an unordered list with no repetition. The question that we can ask ourselves today is, what if repetition is allowed? So what is an unordered list with repetition? For this, we need a new concept that accounts for frequency, but not order. Enter the multiset. Definition. A multiset is an unordered collection of objects where an object may be considered to be in the multiset more than once. Tied to this is another notion of multiplicity. The multiplicity of an element is the number of times it is in the multiset. Okay, notation. For multisets, we're going to use this pointy brackets. And in this case, this is a multiset of four elements, the element two and the element four with multiplicity three. Just like with sets and lists, let's talk about when we can say that two multisets are equal and when they are not equal. Equality. Definition. Two multisets are equal if, one, they have the same elements, and two, those elements have the same multiplicity. Let's do a couple of examples. Example, this multiset, two, four, 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 is not equal to two, two, four, four. Same elements, different multiplicities. An example, 2, 4, 4, 4 is equal to 4, 2, 4, 4. Same elements, same multiplicity. Order doesn't matter. Let's talk about the size. The size of a multiset. We use the word cardinality much like with sets. The cardinality of a multiset is the sum of the multiplicities of its elements. So for example, 1, 1, 1, 2, the cardinality is going to be, well, we have the element 1 with multiplicity 3 plus the element 2 with multiplicity 1, it's going to be 4. Now let's talk about how to count multisets. Definition. For two natural numbers, n and k, n, k, with double parentheses around them, is defined to be the number of multisets of cardinality k whose elements are from an n element set. And this is pronounced n multi-choose k. Example. 2, 2, 2 multi choose 2 is going to be 3, because we're going to consider a set of size 2. We're going to think of all the multisets of size 2, of cardinality 2. We're going to have 1, 1, we're going to have 1, 2, and we're going to have 2, 2. Much like with binomial coefficients, we want to uh, establish various formulae to help us count the multisets that we have. So here's a theorem. Let n and k be positive natural numbers. We claim that n multi-choose k is equal to n minus 1 multi-choose k plus n multi-choose k minus 1. Before we talk about the proof of this, I want to highlight that the proof is going to follow another combinatorial approach, which is when you're trying to figure out if two things are equal to each other. So to prove equality between two expressions, one way of proceeding is find a question uh, for which both sides of the equality give a correct answer. So if both sides of the equality correctly answer the same question, they must be equal to each other. All right, so let's see if we can prove this. We want to show 
that n multi choose k is equal to n minus 1 multi choose k plus n multi choose k minus 1. So here's the proof. A multiset of size k from a set of size n can be obtained in two ways. The idea is either the multiset includes the nth element or it doesn't. So here are the two ways. One, take a multiset of size k from the subset of size n minus 1, which does not contain the nth element. Or two, take a multiset of size k minus 1 from the set of size n and add the nth element to make the multiset of size k. Altogether, n multi choose k should be equal to taking a multiset of size k from a subset of size n minus 1, or the other way to obtain it is to take a multiset of size k minus 1 from a set of size n and then adding the nth element. And this proves it. This, of course, requires some examples. Example. Let's try and find 3 multi choose 2. According for our formula, it should be 2 multi choose 2 plus 3 multi choose 1. Why would that be true? Well, let's consider our set of size 3 and let's talk about all of the multi sets that only involve 1 and 2. So we get 1, 1, 1, 2. 2 comma 2. This corresponds to 2 multi choose 2. Or we can um, make sure to include the third element and just union with 3 multi choose 1, which is how many ways to um, choose a set of size 1. So you can choose 1, or you can choose 2, or you can choose 3. That corresponds to 3 choose 1, and then unioning with 3. Altogether, this tells us that 3 multi choose 2 is going to be 6. Let's introduce something that's going to be useful in many different places, but in particular, it's going to help us right now with counting multi sets. Let's talk about stars and bars. It may seem a little bit silly right now, but we're going to try and to figure out a pictorial way to uniquely encode multi sets. This is what we seek. So we're going to start with a horizontal list of stars. Say we've got six of them. We are then going to separate them with vertical bars. So for example, if here are my stars, I can separate it with vertical bars, like so, however I like. All right, this is stars and bars. Here's how we link it to multisets. Reading from left to right, build a multiset by assigning stars to consecutive whole numbers, with stars in each section assigned to the same number. Here's how that would look. So starting from left to right, we're going to assign stars to numbers with signs in each section with stars in each section assigned to the same number. So this is going to be assigned to one. This is going to be assigned to two. Here's three. In this section is 4, and here is 5. And so that sets up a correspondence with a certain multiset. 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. And here's uh, the important takeaway here that you could notice if you were, uh, if we did a few more examples, which we will do. So notice for a multiset of size k, from a set of size n, there will be k stars, n minus 1 bars, to give a total of n plus k minus 1 objects. OK, let's talk about where we're going with this. Here's our observation. We have a one-to-one -one correspondence between uh, stars and bars lists of the right size and multisets of the right size. But stars and bars lists are easier to count. So consider n multi choose k, a k multiset from 
an n set can be represented by a list of n plus k minus 1 objects of which k are chosen to be stars and uh, the rest are written as bars. For example, let's start with the set 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's think about 4 multi choose 3. So n here is going to be 4 and k here is going to be 3. n plus k minus 1 is going to be 6. So we need six objects. Let's make some spaces for them. So let's do a few examples. So I need to, um, I'm going to choose three of these to be stars. Or in the second case, or in the third case. Then the rest of them are going to be bars. And then we can see what multiset this corresponds to. So this is going to be one, two, no threes, and then a four. This one is going to be no ones, two twos, and then a three. And this corresponds to one, no twos, no threes, four, four. This gives us a theorem. We want to figure out n multi choose k. And it's equal to taking n plus k minus 1 objects and choosing k of them to be stars and the rest to be bars. That's the end of today's lesson. See you next week.